What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we're doing another Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. We are opening up the second half of our first box of Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge. If you haven't seen the first half, definitely go check it out. We got some really good pulls, to be honest, as far as like the cards I really wanted. We already got it from the box, and part of me is like, oh man, do I even open the rest of the box? I feel like I can't top that. Um, but we're definitely going to open them anyway, and maybe some more in the near future. But, uh, Let's get into our first pack, and um, yeah, so far this set has been treating us very nicely compared to the last set of this kind, the uh, Infinity Chances, this one is going so much better, and to start we have a number 26 Spaceway Octopass, this is some kind of uh, space squid thing, Psychic, interesting, for XYZ summon, a another Fortune Fairy Who, hmm, let me know in a comment down below if you're familiar with the fortune fairy archetype is that any good the cards look a little silly to me and here we have a battle oh, same thing for the battle loss these things look the fortune fairies and the battle loss do not uh, just from look at it, they don't feel too strong but I, you know i guess the art is not really a big factor in how strong a card is and this looks pretty cool number 97 drag drag glubian <laughs> Looks pretty cool, and then the name start is like you had me in the first half. Not gonna lie, as the name's looking pretty cool. Then Lubian <laughs> lost some cred right there. As always, uh, do enjoy the content. Definitely hit that like button down below. We'll see if this how this second half of this box stacks up to the first half. Uh, I think it's gonna be pretty tough. Elemental Hero Stratos, very nice card right there. Dragon. Dragon Necro, Nether Soul Dragon. Hmm, it looks kind of weird. And then, ooh, I think this card's actually pretty good. Artifact Lancia. For our next secret. All right. So overall impressions, I feel like this car, uh, this set, uh, coming out of the gate, is pretty good. I'm curious how it will kind of like age. The I feel like it's definitely off to a better start than Infinity Chasers. And here we have number 93, Utopia Kaiser. That's a lot going on there. Let me know what your thoughts are on the set and how you think uh, it'll kind of um, age and how the cards, whether or not the cards will hold up over time. Alright, let's see. Will of oh, the Solomon Great. Fortune Fairy Chef. I think we have most of the Fortune Fairies at this point. This looks like some more Fortune Fairy support. And then, so we do have... This is our first uh, secret... Our first uh, double Dino Wrestle Prankatops. I don't mind that. You know, the card is really good and... Yeah, it might not be super expensive because people have an alternative with the common, but... Um, yeah, I feel like people definitely going to prefer to play the secret rare version TG metal skeleton uh, the fortune fairy who summon limit hmm. uh, fortune fairy Swee and trap trick Sarah yeah that looks just okay I believe it's like kind of like immune to traps or something Alright, let's see, what do we want to pull? I want a Black Luster Soldier. Artifact Sight. Water of Life. Battle Wasp Her Halberd of Charge. Vision Release. And then Vision Hero Increase. Okay. Let's see what we got. Revival Swarm. Fortune. Oh, okay. Well, this is our first Fortune Fairy. And so we said we did not have all the Fortune Fairies. Maybe that is the last one. Uh, five Level 500. Zero, zero. Interesting. Number 60. Dugaris the Timeless. Battle Loss. Sting the Poison. And Vision Fusion. I believe we have one of those as well already. So that's our second double up is Vision Fusion. Let's double up on something a little bit better. How about that? Here we go. Vision Hero Trinity. 
Ooh, White Dragon Wyvern Buster. Fortune Fairy N. Guardian of Order. Probably looks pretty cool. And Sky Striker Ace Ray. I feel like that's the um, very similar art for Sky Striker Mobilize and Gauge. A very good card. Wouldn't mind uh, getting another one of those. Spoilers if you haven't seen the first half. That is one of the great pack cards we did pull from the first half of the box. We have a Predoplast. Battle Wasp Pin. Battle Wasp Halberd the Charge. And All Eyes Phantom Dragon. All Eyes. I see zero eyes on this. <laughs> Although I imagine it's kind of like the whole like Odd Eyes, All Eyes kind of thing. But uh, when when I when I hear, first heard that name, All Eyes Phantom, I thought it was going to be like a... like. The Thousand Eyes Restrict or something like that. Um, some like, but then like a dragon form. Alright, we have a Shadal Hedgehog. That's pretty cool. Vision Hero Witch Raiden. Is that a bat? Summon Great Sanctuary. Shadal Falco. And. Whoo! Cyberstein. That's a, I think. Is this the first reprint of Cyberstein? Uh, such a classic card that kind of like had this ridiculous potential for some ridiculous stuff. Pay 5,000 life, summon one fusion monster from your extra deck. Um, I don't remember what Yu-Gi-Oh game it was, but like it was really fun because all like the uh, computer opponents had like these absolute loaded deck and Kaiba would just run this one hit KO strategy where if he went seconds like alright Cyberstein, uh, pay 5,000 life points, put down Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon with 4,500. Pop down Megamorph, which would double it because he had less life points, up to 9,000. And I believe uh, he would also, like, Dark Hole or, or Geki as well, usually. So just had a really easy one hit kill. And the easiest way I could find to beat him was just to kind of, like, get it so that he went first. So he would do all of his stuff, or I think he would summon a, like, 1900 monster. And then I would just set up. Uh, some way to counter that so but it's just a very cool uh i really enjoyed that game uh if you know the name of that game is let me know in a comment down below it's like bringing back such good memories Ooh, here we got magical musketeer max foolish burial is that the um is that, was that the common that was really good from uh flames of destruction all right, let's see. Elemental Hero Stratos. All Elemental Heroes are cool. Vision Hero and Vision Hero Ferris. You look just okay. Oh man, these these openings go so fast when there's only five five cards per pack. So we're already at our last pack. No great cards. No none of the big hits. Well, maybe it'll be right here. I feel like usually the box has two. All right, we got Lucky Loan. Vision Hero Multi. Multiply guy. Summoning Swarm. That's kind of cool. Battle Wasp. Arbalist the Rapid Fire. And Dark Sacrifice. Hmm. So overall for the box, I, I would say I'm satisfied, but I'm not sure if we got the greatest pulls. We had an awesome start in video in part one. But I feel like we didn't we were not able to follow it up with any big hits on the secret side. Utopia 93, eh. and then 97. So, not as fire as the first half by a long shot, but either way, uh, I'm still optimistic about this set. We'll see how box number two goes. Stay tuned for that. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all down below. I'm Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.